guys welcome back to my channel it's Lexi so today's video as you already know is my demo and review of the main choice four leaf clover for type 4 hair so I got three of the items from the collection if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys saw why I unbo unbox it when I posted about it I wasn't gonna buy this stuff for a couple reasons the main reason is the price you guys have been harassing me to review this stuff so I went ahead and got it at Sally's and I will link everything down below. The main choice is pricey. Let's not act like it's not. Let's not pretend like it's not. It's pricey and I'm just at my core not a big money spender when it comes to hair products. And I actually do like their products. I have always liked their products. I have a few videos on this channel that I posted reviewing their stuff that I bought my own money and I loved each and every line that they've come out with that I've tried. I will link them down below. Shameless plug, as always, because as you guys can see, we hit 9K and we are on the move to 10K, baby, okay? Let me calm down, I'm too hyper right now. So I bought first the deep conditioning mask. My only gripe <laughs> is the size. They always make their deep conditioners, their deep masks, eight ounces they're always this size and I just get so mad because you can make it 12 main choice Courtney what's good come on like it's always amazing they always have amazing conditioners like my thing with the main choice they have popping shampoos popping conditioners I love their shampoos and their conditioners over everything else they ever come out with and over most of the stuff on the market they have really good stuff and I always tell people if you feel like your hair is in a rut or your hair is looking like trash or your hair is just lacking something for some reason the main choice always brings my hair right back on like top of the line okay so this mask is top of the line it's supposed to restore and rejuvenate coarse brittle hair balance moisture improve softness which is frizz helps with shedding it definitely has protein in there so I'm gonna try to keep mentioning to you guys when something contains proteins just in case you want to know this has protein in it and it is so softening define my curls like who where what what where why where what was that it also is, smells okay this line to me smells okay it's not very fragrant but what fragrance is there is not you know anything crazy good about it but I do like this stuff on my hair detangling check softening check strengthening check it is is popping and I actually like it and I will use it again that's the most important thing I bought all of my own money as you guys know because main choice ain't out here giving away products you know <laughs> that's what I'm saying. next I went ahead and rinsed my hair out and then I sealed with an oil I used one of their oils the main choice hair oils and sealed my hair all together and then I went ahead and used the spray the leave-in spray now let's see what I had I take notes y'all already know let's see what I've written about the spray in my notes it was whatever that's literally what I wrote down <laughs> but for real it was whatever like I'm not in love with it I've mentioned it many times before on this channel spray watery leave-ins are not my jam I have very thick dense coarse hair I need me a cream okay and I feel like for them to make a type 4 line they should give us a cream leave-in that's my perspective as a type 4 natural of many years I like thick creamy leave-ins I could detangle with so I recommend if you try the mask detangle your hair with the mask if you're not new here you know that I always detangle my hair with the leave-in after washing and conditioning because my hair tangles back up very easily and I ain't twisting my hair in the shower and twisting it under not happening over here so my method works for me detangling with leave-ins I do it all the time um, so they didn't have a thick leave-in and my hair was very soft from the mask but remember, you know, you need, I need, myself, a thick leave-in to detangle with. So it was a little, it was tough. It was tough. And that leave-in, the spray that I tried from them, it didn't give me nothing like crazy. Like it didn't soften my hair. I didn't feel like it did anything to my hair. It felt like water. I'm not going to lie ever on this channel or in real life, you know, I'm a real one. I'm just talking, now let me just bring it all way, way back. But it has good ingredients on there so it can't hurt your hair, but I did not care for it, long story short. Now, let's get into twisting butter. 
this butter has me conflicted, okay? Because I don't really care for it. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. It feels like glue. The texture of it is tacky like a glue. My hair looks good. My hair has shine. But this don't look like no pop and twist out. And the moisture is not there. It felt like a light moisturizer and more like a light hold gel. So if that makes any sense, it felt like it had a little bit of moisture, a little bit of gel mixed together and made this product. The back of my hair right here, the curls are popping ten, and it's because back here my hair is a looser texture and back here the hair back here curls easily. So the curls back here, as you can see, are a lot more popping ten than the front of my head, which is usually the case. But I'm just really not in love with this twist out. It's soft, that's one thing, my hair is very soft. In terms of like a styling cream, I would have to put a gel on top of this product. That's just, yeah. I would have to put their 24 karat gel that I absolutely love and die for on top of this and I'll probably have a pop and twist out. But I'll have to put a creamy thick leave-in under to have some moisture for days. That's the cocktail right there. Thick leave-in, this product, and then their gel. Would you wanna spend all that coin just to have a pop and twist out? Uh, questionable, that's questionable right there. I think that's all I'll say about this product, these products. I do love the mask. I am okay on the twisting butter. I would not say, let me go reach for it all the time for, no, that's not gonna happen, no. And I'm not sure what missed the mark here. I'm not 100% sure. It's clove oil, flaxseed oil, and aloe vera, and it's for type four hair to nourish, moisture, soften. Y'all already know the main choice is like a leading brand. They have some good products. But I would not tell y'all to go out and buy this butter, because it ain't changed my life, and I would definitely not buy that spray because it ain't changed my life. If you want to know about their shampoo and the other conditioner that they came out with, that's not the mask, and their edge gel thing, go look up some other YouTubers and see how they felt about it. But I really do think that my hair looks good. It looks good, but I'm not going to tell you how to spend your coins on it, right? The only thing that I would spend my coins on, so, okay, hold on, let me rewind this. So, Lexi, what should I spend my coins on? <clears throat> that would be the mask. The mask was main choice quality, top of the line hair mask. The other stuff was meh. That's just my honest opinion. And you guys see my hair, y'all see how it looks, so I can't even like, you know, ungas or too too much gas y'all watch the demo footage i'm rambling now so i'm gonna get going let me zoom in and show you guys how my hair is looking up close and personal and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe like the video share the video we about to be at 10k and it's about to be lit okay i hope that was helpful let me know questions comments comment them down below Babe, I'm just doing a lot of talking right now. Let me just zoom in real quick. It's getting annoying. I'm annoying myself.